One of the projects I'm very excited about is our recent work in the field of nerve regeneration. And this was work that was uh, really funded by the Department of Defense aimed at trying to find ways to better treat our war wounded. Um, a lot of these uh, soldiers are uh, injured in the arms and legs and have these very major peripheral uh, nerve injuries. And when these nerves are injured, they don't heal very well. And one of the ways we're trying to improve these patients' outcomes eventually is to develop better nerve uh, grafts. And these, uh, these artificial nerve grafts will allow uh, the healing of um, these injuries uh, in a way that's much better than what's available currently. So the way that uh, nerve grafts can work is to uh, guide the uh, axonal processes, or these are the long cables that connect the nerve cell body to its destination. And when these are injured, you need to provide some sort of guidance for that axonal process to regenerate. I think the analogy of the uh, neurons growing on a um, trellis is a very good one. Um, and beyond just growing on the trellis, um, you can imagine um, the trellis being only in one direction. So the vines are basically forced to uh, grow uh, as straight as possible. And that's how a normal nerve is, and that's what we're trying to recreate. So we're combining uh, nano uh, texturing of these graphs, which help give a mechanical spatial cue, along with uh, molecules that help the neuron uh, attach to the graft itself and also growth factors which promote more rapid regeneration. And the beauty is that a lot of the technology is very readily translatable into uh, a clinical trial. There's some more um, uh, complex components uh, that will be very difficult to test in the short term, but some of the basic technology that we're um, working with is already very close to uh, human clinical trials.